what are the leading clinical trials in older patients with AML, Dr. Skikney? Oh, one of the state, and I'm going to talk about the maintenance type regimens to start with. Um, there was a study, and it's finished, the Hovan study, um, where they were using Videza or, or azacitidine um, to treat patients who'd had intensive chemotherapy and achieved remission. And then they were treated with azacitidine by injection. Um, and th this study took a long time to do, and they, they stopped it early. And they were hoping to see improvement in survival. Um, and they, so they were measuring overall survival, but they were also measuring relapse-free survival. If you want time from that it took to relapse after a patient achieved a remission. So, and they showed with the injectable form that there was improvement in relapse-free survival. There was a lengthening of that time it took before the leukemia relapse. But when they looked, the, they could not show any benefit with overall survival. And so the, that, in a way, was showing that there's some improvement in relapse-free survival was a signal and to, that... Um, would there may be some benefit in using hypermethylating agents um, for patients to try and improve the, the leukemic time to relapse and, and maybe survival. And so then there was the, the oral um, um, azacitidine drug um, and the maintenance treatment that showed some benefit in both relapse-free survival and in overall survival. So two important um, um, studies. But then I, one drug that we haven't mentioned yet um, that has been approved last year was the decidabine oral agent, and it's called Inquovi. I think the, the name is Inquovi. It's given as a tablet instead of requiring in intravenous infusion. Now, there's not a lot of data yet available as to outcomes with this oral agent versus having to go and getting an IV in, in infusion of a drug. But I'm sure in the near future, we'll start seeing some results using this oral agent uh, for treating patients, either newly diagnosed leukemic patients or um, as maintenance type treatments. And the way, the, the direction where things are going is instead of using a single agent, it, in order to improve outcomes, one has to use a two drugs that may have a beneficial effect or an added an additional effect as far as efficacy than if you were using one agent alone. So there's this a number of studies that are being done, and this is the importance again of, of participating in studies to try and see is there further benefit by adding a, a, a two drugs together to try and improve on outcomes. Very important to do. And so there are a number of studies that are ongoing in the US and, and in Europe as well and other countries looking at combination treatments, important. So um, I think that that's about the main uh, point uh, factors that I wanted to point out as to where we are today um, and there's probably about a dozen studies one could mention that are ongoing, especially using combination treatments. And there are new ones coming into being as well that will be starting up within the, the a year.